Welcome back to this bootstrap series. In this tutorial, we're going to go through how to build some basic structures. So we're going to be focused on a two tier structure. So let's have a look here. So this kind of simple layout where we have a, a large section and a small section. And we need to consider not only the desktop view, laptop view, we also need to consider a mobile view. And of course, if we were to scale this down to a mobile view, the section here, this side section is going to be way too small for the mobile. So we're going to need a way of kind of uh, either putting it on top or, or putting it at the bottom um, of the main content. So we'll have a look at how Bootstrap can handle that. So first of all, I've created a new page. I've just copied one of these pages and I've called it sidebar. This is a main project folder and I've opened it up in my code editor. And you can see all I have is the basic um, bootstrap template system. Boilerplate, if you wish. So now we need to start coding this out. So the first step, like most projects, is to start with a container. Um, what I'm going to do in this tutorial is just style these containers um, and add a background so you can see what's actually happening. So we need a background color. And um, we're going to use uh, just a gray on that one. So that's going to help you see uh, the elements on the page. So if I op open up the page, you can see that at the moment there is nothing there. I'll type some letters in there. And now we can see the container. So that's our container. I might as well just call that container. There we go. Okay, next up, I've added a new uh, container, a div uh, element, and you can see that I'm using PY5. So let's just uh, remember the fact that when we build a div, we can add uh, padding to it to make some space around it, and then we can also add a margin. So in Bootstrap, we can define padding with P, and then for example, if we want to define padding at the top here, we use T. If you want uh, the left and right, we use the, the letter L or R. And then we um, have a dash and then the size of the padding, so one to five. So this is where we can add kind of padding around our initial div. Now we also have in Bootstrap the facility to define the top and the bottom padding only or the left and the right padding only. So you can see here that this says PY uh, dash five. So this is referring to the fact that um, the Y, the top and the bottom are going to be applying a, a padding. And in this case, the padding is going to be five. So we use the um, the attribute or the, the class uh, text center. And what that's going to do is going to center these two elements in the middle of the container. So I've got a H2 tag here for a heading and a P for some text. And I've added the class lead for the text. So a good question is, what is this class lead? Well, if you go over to the Bootstrap uh, documentation, it just says makes a paragraph stand out. So what that means is, well, if we go into our code, right click and inspect, we can see what is happening here is that we're, we've got a slightly bigger font size than um, the normal paragraph and the font weight has gone from 400 normal to the lighter 300 so that's what's been applied by utilizing the lead class so that uh, now builds as you can see here this simple area up the top um, which just has a title and a little bit of text explaining what i'm building so now for to actually build the rows and the columns so here I've gone ahead and typed in some code and first of all I created a new div and we've created a row, so class row. And then inside of this row there are two sections, uh, left and right. So again, like I've done up here, I'm just going to apply a, a background style so that you can see each side, makes it a little bit more obvious. So now if I save that and go back, we can see now the left and the right side. So at this point, you can see that 
this isn't the right scale. So now we need to define um, the scale of these uh, columns. So go back in the code, or we can now define. So we're going to have a, a column um, that's going to be uh, eight. So if you remember, uh, Bootstrap is using a grid system. So it uses a 12 uh, column system. So on our page or in the container, sorry, there's going to be these 12 um, columns. So what we're saying here in the first piece of code is we're going to use eight of these columns. So this div is going to stretch eight columns uh, like that. And then that's going to leave us, apologies, this isn't the exact number. Um, it's going to leave us then four columns. So we've got 12 columns in total in this container. Uh, so it's then going to look like that. So we define column eight there. And then this one is going to be column four. So let's see that in action. This should now scale up. And there we go. So this is four and this is eight. Obviously, um, one thing you could do straight away, if you knew that this uh, section, the smaller section needed to be on the left hand side, well, obviously you would just change these numbers around um, initially. So that's working okay at the moment, but let's have a look to see what it looks like. So if I press F12, uh, let's have a look to see what this is going to look like in a mobile view. So if I go to a mobile, you can see I've got that problem I detailed at the beginning, the fact that I don't want this left hand side or this smaller side potentially to appear small in a mobile view because I'm never going to be able to read all the items in this list. or well, it's going to be very complicated to do that. So let's have a look back in the code. You can see that this is basically just defining the column width. I'm just going to move that back to eight and four. So I can have a right hand side, a smaller column. So I need to basically now define um, what happens at a bigger size and a smaller size. So I'm going to be ut utilizing the uh, MD. So if you remember, going back into the uh, bootstrap documentation, if we go down to uh, layout, I think in here, you'll be able to see uh, the different breakpoints. Um, where are we? So medium devices or MD, um, basically we're referring to seven, six, eight pixels and above. So here, basically what we're saying is that when the browser is 768 pixels and above, then this, the size of this is going to be eight, um, of the, the 12 columns. And this is going to be four of the 12 columns. So below 700 and 68, then this is basically going to be styled as 12. So this is going to be just reverting to 12. So what we should have now in a mobile view, if we go back here and refresh, is these should be now on top of each other because it's below 768. And there we go. So once we get to 768, so if I go into the responsive here, I can drag this. So this is mobile view. And then when we get to 768 here, You'll notice then it goes into the the format that we've defined. So this eight and the four, the eight and the four. So that's how we're going to um, control the left and the right column. Now, one thing that you might want to do is use order. So what we can do here is define, define whether this blue goes on top or the bottom, because maybe in your design, you want this in mobile to be first and then this to be second. So at the moment, you can see that blue goes at the bottom and the big box in the desktop view goes at the top. So that might be desirable, but if you wanted the uh, blue up the top, then we need to utilize the order facility. So let's type in order one, and then this can be order two. So um, it's in order of number. So one, then two, that's how it's going to be viewed. Now at the moment, um, we know that the red is on top. So if I refresh this, well, this is in order now. So we've got order one, then order two, because that's what we've just defined. But if we wanted the, the blue to be on top, well, then we can just change the order. So this is now going to be one, and this is now going to be uh, number two. So that should be on the bottom. There we go. 
so we have to be careful here because we've reordered this and we want the red one to be the uh, the biggest um, and on the left hand side but you'll notice now that because I've got this order at the small size it's now affected also um, what's happening in the desktop view so we also now have to define um, what happens in this desktop view so what we're saying here is our breakpoint is this medium uh, device or this MD which obviously referred to uh, 768 pixels so what we need to do now is just tell um, this div that actually when you get to the larger size you're order number one so we just use order again uh, define MD and then in this time in this instance it needs to be number one so I can do the same thing again down here obviously this needs to be number two so when I go back to my page there we go so it's as we want so it's going to be appearing like that here and when it gets under 768 it then will go at the bottom because that's what we defined here number two instead of number one well that's definitely one option of uh, utilizing order to change what happens at a mobile view but maybe there'll be instances where you just don't want to block at a smaller view so you just want to get rid of that block so yeah so for example we get down into the mobile view and well we don't want this right hand side anymore because that's really just an advertisement area for the desktop view so let's get rid of this right hand side now if you go over to the um, documentation in bootstrap the um, display property uh, what they call it Dis yeah display property uh, section um, it gives you an overview of um, how to hide uh, different blocks so the keyword is is none here so if we wanted to hide um, a block uh, completely so this right hand side well we just use the uh, d none um, so basically that's saying from the smallest size d up until the biggest size we're not going to see that block so that gets rid of that block but obviously we don't want that we only want it um, we only want to get rid of this block or remove this block in the smaller size and this this case it's going to be the uh, the MD the medium device size 768 pixels so we can do that first of all um, we know that we don't want this to be viewable at the small size so we keep that there but what we're going to do now is say well actually when we get to the larger size MD I want you to now show this so all we need to do is if we follow this uh, visible on MD so all we need to do now is define this class here so we're saying that um, on the smaller one on the smaller size and um, it's not visible but when you get to the MD size uh, make it into the block so make it viewable so I put that there so it's important that we put this in the right order notice before that I put order one here and then the MD size here so it's important that you um, put this in order of smallest to largest it makes it a little bit easier as well to read um, so the smallest and then the largest size that's what I'm referring to that MD and D the smallest so what we should have now putting that in place is we should be able to now hide this when it gets to the smaller 768 size and there we go so that's how to make your um, blocks or elements um, hidden and visible at different sizes now obviously I'm only using this MD uh, property here there are other sizes LG and SM XL um, so if you're not too sure what um, screen sizes they are just go into the documentation and it will give you all the information you need so hopefully there was some useful knowledge there uh, if, again if you've got any questions then please just ask um, obviously I'm, I'm not going to start filling all, in all these sections here um, this was really just a demonstration of uh, first building a, a structured two column layout structure and then secondly having a look at how to control that utilizing uh, the functionality that bootstrap offers ordering and then removing and adding blocks so also I just note that this styling here it's not recommended to keep the styling here obviously we'd need to try and maintain all the styling within the CSS so you can remove that if you're gonna uh, take your page 
uh, life.